I think Miss Marvel is such an important superhero because she uh, redesigns what it means to be a superhero for so many uh, young men and women growing up around the world who will, can see a reflection of their own experiences, of their skin color, of their lives in the conversation she has in her family. And I really wanted to be part of the storytelling team that brings uh, Miss Marvel to life, that really takes her from the comic books and, and brings her out um, so that her experiences and what she has gone through and in her search uh, to find her powers, she inspires so many young people to begin to believe that they too could be superheroes. I wanted to bring authenticity to um, Kamala Khan and to her experiences. Um, I come from a very rich culture of textiles and music and art and um, food. And um, I wanted to open up this uh, world to the rest of the world, sort of letting them in on the secret that we have this culture that and our weddings and our festivals are worth celebrating and being part of. And I wanted to make sure that that celebratedness, that sort of color, that sort of vivaciousness played out on screen. When I was thinking of directing episode four, I was in essence creating a, a world for Kamala to enter into. Um, and I was born and raised in Karachi. And so um, I thought about the places that I love to eat at, the streets that I love to walk, and how would I want Kamala to see my city? Um, and I literally walked my city one day thinking about all the places I would want uh, Kamala to be at. Um, and then with that map in place, I decided to replicate that. And so she goes to the Chinese restaurant that I grew up eating in. And uh, she walks the old town on a heritage walk, something I do on a Sunday. And so that Karachi that no one has seen on screen before, I wanted to give it life. I always think about uh, Kamala uh, as a story of a family. Um, and as long as you're rooted in the relationships between the grandmother and the granddaughter, her relationships with her cousins, and her relationship with her own mother, I think those quiet moments, those moments when she um, is um, exploring the city with a new friend, when she is um, sitting and having a quiet conversation with her mother on the dinner table, those are the, the moments that, that you see her as just Kamala and not as a superhero. And I think uh, at the heart of the story is the heart of a story of a family who is coming to terms with its secrets um, and on a journey where a young woman is finding her voice. What really um, excited me about working on this Marvel project was the fact that Marvel had assembled uh, this crew from around the world of people who came with their own experiences that would elevate the story of Kamala Khan in Miss Marvel. And so there were people working from costume design to art direction to um, props that were authentic to making Kamala's experiences come alive. And I think that it's very rare to find a crew that is diverse. Um, and I think that when you watch the episodes, you see what they bring with them. Our art director and the patterns he researched and, and, and our costume designer with the outfits that was designed, every little detail that went into creating Miss Marvel's world is when you watch it, you realize the attention to detail and the care that it has gone into. And that could have only happened with this assembled crew that was put together. We, uh, when, when we were thinking about how we wanted to tell uh, Kamala's story in, in Miss Marvel, we thought about the actors that would breathe life into these characters. And it was important for us to bring actors from the Indian subcontinent, from India, from Pakistan, uh, from the diaspora, um, so that we would have actors who bring with them their experience to play those, uh, and that they would be authentic to, uh, to those roles. And so, and when you see the episodes and you see her grandmother and you see the relationship between Kamala and her grandmother, so many viewers, when they watch that, 
um, scene that takes place between her um, in which they are bonding and standing um, uh, on the balcony. They see a reflection of conversations they've had with their own grandparents. And so in order to do that, we drew from a very rich cast um, from around the world. I hope audiences laugh and cry and cheer Kamala on as she goes on this journey. I hope they fall in love with the grandmother and her quirkiness and they love the music that we have chosen for the series um, and that they go into uh, their neighborhood and find and eat a Pakistani meal or the next time they have someone that they know who has a wedding that they want to be part of it. It's so important to normalize and to celebrate each other's cultures and I hope that Miss Marvel does that um, for people who never thought that they would be watching a superhero uh, from an immigrant family and never thought that they'd fall in love with that mother and that father and see themselves in that, um, in those relationships that are taking place.